Wow. There it goes. All of that surface scum, oil slick, <laughs> it stuck my hand in there. It's getting stuck through. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Hugh with Prolific Breed. I'm in the fish room right now. All these tanks right here. And I used to do all of my open boxes in this room as well. I used to have a 10 gallon um, Aquion from Petco right here with all of my little baby guppies. But I have since replaced that tank with this um, UNS tank. It's a shallow tank, that rimless tank that people usually use for um, planted tanks and things like that. But since it's shallow, I thought it would be good for a temporary frag tank to throw in some of my corals um, to kind of have a backup just in case my tank um, crashes or anything like that. But to run this entire tank, I'm using an AquaClear 70 and the tube was too long. So I took this part out and I just used the, the top part right there and to prevent anything big from sucking in I just used some mesh and kind of zip tied it in place but today we're gonna do an open box on a product from Ocean Box Designs and let me show you what I'm working with open this up real quick now I've seen Mighty Nano Tank use this for his budget build. Um, this product transforms your AquaClear 70, 50, 110 into a surface skimmer. So instead of having the nozzle on the bottom and sucking up the water, it's gonna create an overflow and water's gonna overflow into this box and kind of skim out all of the surface gunk. Uh, let me see, got a whole bunch of peanuts. Dump it out real quick. This is the piece right here. It's very simple. And here's business card. If you guys wanna grab your own or anything like that, Hit up Fong, he's a good guy. Uh, I sent him some corals and he hooked it up with this skimmer. Let me get this out of the plastic so you guys can see how everything is. It's really good build quality. It's made of ar acrylic. See right there and it's attached by magnets and he laser etched in his um, logo and everything it's gonna be pretty good and it looks like it's just enough to fit the tank now my tank went through the whole ugly phase where algae hair algae grew out and everything like that and starting to die away but I mainly have um, GSP frags in here and a rainbow clove frag and some leathers. You want if you guys want more videos on this tank, um, hit me up in the comment section. I might do a more in-depth video on the build, but it's just quickly thrown together just to house some of the frags because my Lagoon 25 is like running out of space. And I just want to do a little grow out. So I want to fix my intake to make it into a surface um, skimming intake for the aqua clear. And in the future, I want to make a rack and throw it in here. So to have, to have everything organized. Now, this was my temporary solution uh, because the the tube wouldn't fit, it was too long, so I got some mesh and tied it to the end right here to prevent anything big from getting sucked through. I have a lawnmower blenny in here, just eating hair algae. Uh, I didn't want to get him sucked in and getting chewed up by the propeller, so I, I put this in place. But 
with the circulation going on, it kept pulling in um, algae here and kind of clogging up the intake right here. So I would have to clear it every once in a while to get the the power, um, the water flowing again. But I'm gonna get rid of this and put in the box. Man, I thought I could slide it in place with the filter in place. But it's so hard to get these magnets um, in place with the aqua clear right there. It didn't give me enough room to slide my fingers through, so I had to lift. I had to lift up the hang on the back to get it in place. And now I'm just gonna slide the aqua clear in place. The little notch right here. It's so it's made so you can slide it in place and. Um, have the aqua clear kind of in in there. Uh, let me put it in so you guys can see. Right, this is the box in place. Now you can see why there's a cutout. That allows for this portion right here to kind of be able to slide into the pocket right there. So we can have skimming action. Now you can see I stuck my hand in here and everything and you can see the surface scum. And this box is designed to have the water overflow into these slots right here and into the intake which is right here the intake goes in let's see how everything works so you see the grime up top I don't know if you guys can see that but I have the tube right here I'm gonna stick it in and let's see if it sucks up this grime into the overflow and into the filter See that? It's priming. Wow! There it goes. All of that surface scum, oil slick. <laughs> it stuck my hand in there. It's getting sucked through. Let me adjust this real quick. like priming should give it some time but I don't know if you guys could see that surface scum getting sucked in right now pretty happy with it all right guys I'm back and I figured out what was happening so earlier everything was kind of gurgling um, because I had this overflow box too high so the slots were high and it didn't allow enough water to um, overflow in to the intake tube. And what would happen was the aqua clear would pull in almost all of the water in the box. And once it pulled it all in, it was sucking in air. So you would hear the gurgling. So I had to um, set the camera down and kind of adjust the box down a little bit to allow for everything to kind of balance out. So now there's enough water um, overflowing into that um, chamber right there to um, sustain the amount of water the hang on the back filter is sucking through. But yeah, I haven't seen this tank um, this turbulent in a long time. So in the, in the beginning of the video, we could see straight into the tank, but now with so much um, water moving, I can't even see what's inside. It's just all blurry, <laughs> but all of the surface scum is gone. I'm very impressed with this overflow box. So if you guys want to convert your hang on the back filter into an overflow box that um, does surface skimming and cleaning the surface of your tank, check out Ocean Box Designs. Here's the card again. Focus. Ocean Box Designs. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, Fung, he creates all of these by hand. And I think it's a great product. It's well worth, it's well worth the money. And yeah, my tank is 
super clean for the surface that is and the power coming out of the hang on the back is so much that I'm very impressed because I haven't seen it like flowing like this in a long time here's the frag tank again if you guys want an in-depth video of how I set this up or more videos of the progression of this tank uh, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to answer you guys I'm gonna call it a day I hope you guys have a great weekend happy Memorial Day and be sure to like comment and subscribe I'll catch you guys on the next one bye